Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over how to set up a new skill within Salesforce Omni Channel. So, quick overview of what Omni Channel is. It's a way to route different things, specifically leads and cases within Salesforce based upon different criteria. Most often it's going to be based upon skills. So, that's what we're going to be talking about today. So, imagine you are using the Salesforce service cloud conglomerate of all these different features. You're using that as your IT support ticketing system and you want to route your tickets or your cases to the person who will be handling it based upon their skills. So when I worked in IT, specifically IT help desk, we had people that were over different things. So like we had the Salesforce person, which was me. And then you'd have like the Slack person and the Tableau person or the Power BI person or like the HubSpot person. And so we would route those tickets to those people as they came in. So let's go ahead and go to the setup over here. And we're going to set up that skill so that we can start routing it. So let's go ahead and in the quick find search for Omni. Um, Omni channel and underneath Omni channel, we will see skills. All right, so from here, we are going to create a new skill. So I'm gonna call this Salesforce. And how about let's say Salesforce level one, because maybe we have a few different people who have the available Salesforce skills, but you might have someone who is a newer admin and they could take the level one stuff and then someone who's more experienced could take level two, level three, what have you. And so the developer name is going to auto populate. So you can have the option to add users here, here for this skill, but we do have to add some additional permissions for any of our users to have that. So I can keep going down here and then you could also enter in a specific profile. So then only that profile could, um, have it. I am going to say just for the system admin because this is Salesforce and so we're working in Salesforce and typically the person who's working on the Salesforce should have system admin access. So I am going to click save here. All right and there we go. We have created that skill. Now going back to there we can add users once they have the appropriate permissions to be put into Omnichannel for chat. But that is a quick how to set up a skill for your omni-channel settings within Salesforce. Um, I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at Emily Call MBA. Thanks so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.